Ha ha! What up, y'all motherfuckers? I'm doing a vlog today and I just went to this place here called BK Burger King having it your way. Apparently they came out with a vegan burger. So I had to cop it. I had to try it out. Wagwan, Jonathan Craig in the building. I am gonna review the impossible burger from Burger King today. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, the Impossible Whopper. No mayo, because mayo is made from eggs. I'm gonna not eat eggs, so I had to say no mayo. This is the packaging. They tend to go with the green to show people that it's veggies. Um, KFC do, does the same thing. Yo, McDonald's, man, where's your, where's your Impossible Big Mac at yet? They don't have that shit, my God. Anyways, I'm very interested to see how this is. I haven't been to Burger King in 10 years, I swear. I am so far off first looks. Right off the bat, at first look, it looks really impressive. I mean, I like the shape and the size of the Whopper, opposed to the ones at Harvey's, I guess. When you look inside of here, pickles, a little bit of lettuce, onion, tomato they're kind of slack on the lettuce actually there's not that much there's not a whole lot there so anyways it's looking all right looking all right and you know what it never looks like the picture never does it look like the picture they're lying to us so let's go ahead and take our first bite of this impossible burger. I'm actually just gonna try the patty first. It's okay. It's kind of dehydrated. Not much moisture to it. I feel like it's been cooked on the regular grills. I know A&W still does that on the regular grills. I'm not sure what Harvey's is doing with their burgers there, but I know KFC makes their burgers in a separate vat. So, gunshot. Who's that? Blood clot. Anyways, first bite, let's see how this tastes. First bite was like, when I hit the pickle, it gave that classic Whopper taste. It's just very dry. What I notice at these fast food restaurants is that if you order a veggie or an Impossible Burger, Beyond Burger, if they don't make it fresh for you, then you get a dried out patty that's been waiting in the uh, tray for half an hour. So, good tip is to ask for a fresh one whenever you go to order a, a patty. Uh, and just wait that seven minutes it takes for it to cook. Like, it's literally nothing and you're gonna get a nice juicier veggie patty out of it. This one is like, I could I could complain about this one and take it back, essentially, you know? But I'm gonna finish it, because it's not terribly dry. But, let me know, are you guys the type that will complain about food if it's unsatisfactory and take it back? I know some people that wouldn't do that. I'm one of those people. I'll send it back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's different than the Beyond Burger at A&W or the Light Life Burger at Harvey's. It's not as good though. There's just something that's missing that's not as good as those ones. Harvey's, for example, has a thicker patty, juicier patty. I mean, I'm just happy though. I'm happy there's another option out there now, right? God bless 
more vegan options to come out in the world. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Not bad. The presentation of this burger could use more lettuce. That's about it. And I, I typically put french fries in my burgers, but I didn't do that right now, so I wanted to enjoy this one as is. Mm-hmm. Wow. I think I'm only liking it because I'm hungry right now. I'll give it one more chance and I'll order a fresh patty next time. But truthfully, I feel like A&W is my jam. A&W's Beyond Burger is like, boom, perfect, on point. Like a laser pen. On point like a knife. It's not bad. Like I said, dry though. I need to wash it down with the liquor water. It's decent. Not the best. I have better. I've made better. Although, it's been a while since I made a veggie patty of my own. That's going back to circa 2018. Last time I did that. All right, that's about it. Just gonna finish the sandwich off. Overall, I mean, I'll give it like out of 10, I'll give it like seven. Seven and a half, because I appreciate the company trying to go green a little more. But the strange thing about these sandwiches is that they're trying to hit the plant-based market but then they still dress the burgers with animal products. You know, it would really show if they made these patties and put like, okay, we're not gonna put mayo on there. We're not gonna ask you if you want cheese on it because we know that people are buying this to not support animals, right? So, not support animal farming is what, what that really means. I was really digging a salad before it came out. But then I clicked in. I just saw the ad yesterday. Impossible Whopper. So, I felt like I had to try it out. Damn, water goes good with everything. One thing I don't do is, dry, is drink soda. Me and Soda Pop, we don't get along. Water, water, water every day. Not just any water. Reverse osmosis water. Can't just be that any water. Oh my god. This is my first time doing like a food review from a fast food place. I can't understand how people make a living off of fast food videos. They're just eating all that junk all the time. God. I'm gonna pay you to have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Another thing I never checked was what, what the bun was made out of here. I don't know what kind of buns they're using at these places as well. Most bread these days is vegan though. It's kind of like only certain breads that have eggs in it. I don't think any bread has milk in it. I mean, there's some, but not, not the basic shit. Yeah, it's hitting the spot right now though. Do that, BK. Oh. 
It's gonna sit funny though. Tell you what, I got a nice spliff to go down by the water and smoke after this one. The fries, the fries I'll save for later. Maybe I have one of those right now while well, they're still kind of warm. Ah, they're already out. God, they taste funny too. Yo, what happened to Burger King? Do you guys have Burger King where you guys are at? Like, do you, do you still go there? I feel like they kind of dropped off a lot. Oh. That fry tastes like fucking potato chip or something. Like, a stale potato chip. I swear they just served me a stale meal here. Like, what's really going on, BK? What's really going on, bro? Damn. We'll get them back next time. Last bite, then we're going to head out, wrap up this review. We'll continue into the vlog for the day. Ugh. Not going down so easy now, fuck. Ugh, I feel like clogging up my arteries already. Ugh. Oh, God. And that's the thing. Just because it's vegan, don't mean it's healthy when you're eating this type of shit. Damn. Honestly, I probably won't buy another one after this last bite. Bah. My God. Now that I finished it, I changed my rating. Everything's getting a six. Nothing more. Nothing more than a damn six there. I don't, know, I, I don't feel so good after eating that. Oh. Well, there's your Impossible Whopper review from a vegan himself. Smash that like button. Share this with your other vegan friends. And uh, let me know if you want me to review any more vegan foods from restaurants that are offering these days. But I'm not becoming a foodie reviewer, okay? Just so you know. I'm going to head out, continue the vlog after this, and I'm going to go down by the lake and smoke a ting. Booyakasha!